Because you said the same thing about the Emmy. You're like, who cares about the Emmy? Give me the check. Right. Uh, but now that I got the Emmy in my house, you know, it's in the bed with me. It's well, nice. That's, we sleep together. I think you can put it me on the, the shelf. Me it deserves to be on together. the shelf. You don't have to do that. It's nice. It's a little hard, but okay. I like it hard. All right. Okay. Sometimes it's cold. I'm sorry. But it warms up once I hold it close I, to my body. I apologize. I have to be careful which way I hold it because I could get stabbed okay. in the middle of the night. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's hard, but it's pointy. So. Yeah, you yeah. would know if you have one. You would you would put it in the bed with you and your wife, I'm sure. And it must have been so incredible being on set. I mean, how outrageous was making this film? It, it, it had to be, how, what was the hardest thing you guys laughed when you were making during, during the production? So many, man. So many. I mean, you know, you're, you're working with a group of people that come to have fun, that come to, to bring their A game and raise the bar with the material. So we can we can talk about our classroom days where we yeah. just, everybody's in the room where we're all together and we're ping-ponging off of one another. You know, this joke is setting up this one and the, the speed. Like, those were the days that were funny. Like, when this person, the day when I had to, uh, tell my speech when I had to introduce myself. Yes. And everybody's cutting me off. Yes. And Romney's like, he lied. And then I was like, yes, he is a liar. A liar. Yeah, yeah. A liar. Yes. Yeah. So, so many. Madrigal. Oh my God. That He's, dude is hilarious. He kills yes. in this movie. Yes. Oh, Him I, and Romney's still the comedy in the movie in my opinion. Romney. Romney is oh, awesome. Romney's I mean, hilarious. Yeah. What's the biggest commitment, like time-wise, that you have ever made to get a girl or a guy? Time-wise? Young me, Jesus. Young me had put time in. Young me, young me used to wear sneaks that was too big because I thought the girls was would like me because I had big feet, so I would wear sneaks that was flopping all over the place. I say probably like five months, man, chasing girls around, just trying to be the nice guy in school. I'll get that locker. <laughs> Waiting for them to say I, I like him. This never happened. <laughs> I used to put grapefruits in my training bra and like gradually oh, every week God. let it bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh, hoping so that I would get a boyfriend out oh, of that. God. No. And then one day one of the grapefruits fell out and I was like, oh. <laughs> it was warm too. Oh, too and warm. I was like, uh, uh. You, you want a grapefruit? <laughs> <laughs> grapefruit <laughs> Oh, that's wild. It's funny because I talked to the dude that I was wearing those for, and he, he, he I just recently talked to him, he, he remembered that, and he we were laughing about it. Ugh. He was like, why was you doing that? I was like, because all the girls that you talked to had big boobs, so I figured if I had my boobs grew faster, oh. that you would talk to me. I'm still the same size. Not the irregular grapefruit breasts. <laughs> <laughs> I got them. They would gradually grow throughout the week. <laughs>